The XC360P Rosomac, Wolverine, Armored Personnel Carrier is a Polish license produced version of the Finnish Patria AMV. This APC is locally built in Poland, however, the most important components come from Finland. The Polish Wojsko Zak Lady Mechanics and Company has the rights to produce and marketing the vehicle to both Polish mod and foreign customers until 2023. This company also has the rights to service and repair these vehicles until 2052. The Rosomac was ordered by the Polish mod in 2002 in order to modernize the Polish army fleet. The Rosomac replaced the aging SKOD 8x8 armored personnel carriers and BWP-1 tracked infantry fighting vehicles. Polish mod ordered a total of 690 vehicles. It includes 377 armored personnel carriers and 313 up-armored and up-gunned wheeled infantry fighting vehicles. Deliveries commenced in 2004 and all vehicles were planned to be delivered by 2013. However it seems that the number of Rosomax in service with the Polish army is growing due to emerging variants. Also in 2015 Slovakia ordered 30 of these vehicles. The Rosomac has seen service with the Polish army during the wars in Iraq, Afghanistan and during peacekeeping mission in Chad and Central African Republic. During these international deployments the Rosomac proved itself well. It is worth noting that American soldiers refer the Polish Rosomac as superior in any aspect to their striker. The Patria AMV is among the most protected 8x8 armored personnel carriers. However it is also one of the largest APCs. The Polish Rosomac is fitted with modular ballistic protection. Armor composes of interchangeable modules of various thickness and can be tailored to suit mission requirements. Heavy armor is removed during peacetime and for transportation. However it is restored once the vehicle arrives in the combat theater. Maximum protection level is against 30mm armor-piercing rounds. Vehicle also has a top-class mine protection. It can withstand up to 10 kg TNT blast. There were numerous instances when the Polish Army Rosomax were hit in Afghanistan by landmines and improvised explosive devices. In most cases, there were no casualties. Two up-armored Polish Army vehicles were hit in Afghanistan by RPG-7 rockets, however armor was not penetrated and vehicles managed to return to base. Other sources report that there were more instances of Rosomax surviving RPG-7 hits. A cage armor can be fitted for a higher level of protection against RPG-7 rockets. NBC protection and fire suppression systems are fitted as standard. The Rosomac weights between 16 and 26 T according to armor and weapon systems. The baseline APC version has a crew of two and carries 10 soldiers. It has a shielded weapon mount on the roof for 12.7mm machine gun or 40mm automatic grenade launcher. The IFV version is fitted with Italian OTO Molara Hitfus 30P turret. This turret is operated by commander and gunner. It is armed with a Bushmaster 230mm cannon and coaxial 7.62mm machine gun. This version has a crew of three and carries eight soldiers. Also there are other versions of the Rosomac that are armed with remotely controlled 12.7mm machine guns or do not carry any weapons at all. The Rosomac is powered by the Scania DI-12 turbocharged diesel engine. Engine is mated to ZF automatic transmission with 7 forward and 1 reverse speeds. Vehicle is fitted with a central tire inflation system. The baseline Polish Army Rosomac is fully amphibious, both APC and wheeled IFV versions. On water these vehicles are propelled by two water jets. The Polish Rosomac can be airlifted by a C-130 Hercules tactical cargo aircraft. Recently Poland developed a whole host of combat vehicles, based on their Rosomac. However none of them have entered service yet. It seems that Poland plans to field rapid deployment brigades with Rosomac 8x8 heavily armored APCs in the same manner as US Army fields striker brigade combat teams. Each rapid deployment brigade has 8x8 armored vehicles of various variants. Operational concept behind these brigades is stressed on speed, deployability and maneuverability to counter enemy forces. 